and we're back guys tennis in a minute i'm your host good energy on jabor eliminated that is the breaking story now i said in the preview and prediction video that look don't be surprised if on she loses the first set and needs to find a way back to win this match now she did lose the first set but she did not win this match and watching this match here it went exactly how i said i said Anj was playing a lot of tennis and she looked she looked drained last match against Aslan Kruger. Aslan Kruger really pressured on Jabor last match. She took her deep. And someone like Marta, who I said in the preview prediction video, comes out very strong and fast. I do feel this is a a threat to Ons. This is a scary match for Ons. And sure enough, sure enough, it was. But have to put an emphasis that on Jabor was up 5-4 in the first set and she had a chance to close out this first set she had a chance to serve it out and she could not marta broke back and held and on look and she broke ons so ons needed to break back to force a first set tie break the first set was very entertaining but look watching tennis i have to be transparent with you guys i'm seeing and Ons that can't really overpower opponents anymore. Good shot maker, still the best shot maker in the world. But I don't know, guys. It's I have to be honest with you. I, I love Ons, best shot maker in the world. But I'm seeing a window of maybe maybe two more seasons where she might she might fall off pretty big. And that just comes from just the younger players starting to be able to overpower her in these exchanges and on just not being able to keep opponents off of her, having to go 15 to 20 shot rallies and, and just starting to get drained from her stamina. I don't know. It's it's going to be a sad day. But the first half, if we take a look at these statistics, Marta, three double faults, only got 55% of her first serves in play, but won 81% of them. Ons won 85% of her first serves, but it came down to really the critical moments. Ons, what I think she can do is I think if she can improve her serve a little bit, because when she's in these situations where we're seeing her have the opportunity to serve these sets and these matches out, she's getting broken. And we saw that yesterday with Kruger. We saw it today with Marta. If Ons can work on the serve a little bit, to win some of these service gains and hold without having to go 15 to 20 shot rallies, she can conserve energy because we're seeing Ans. it looks like she's getting tired. She's bending over a lot, guys. And, and if you're watching this match, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When she's losing points, she's bending over and she looks tired. And the announcer made it clear in this match, he's like, Ans is not healthy. And... Look, I said Sophia Kennedy needs to shut it down. Ons does right now. She's in the race of the finals. And look, I said, what will the WTA finals be like without having Ons Jabor there? It's not going to be good, right? It's not going to be entertaining. Well, okay, Coco's there. Iga's there. Rabakin is there. It's going to be entertaining, but not as fun as it would be if Ons was there. She's the life of the party. But Marta gets the victory, guys. She takes out Ons. And that second set, was it was messy. She ran out of gas. She's going to take on Ludmilla. We're going to have some drama here. Now, listen, Ludmilla owns a head-to-head three loves. She beat her in Washington this year. Marta's, Marta's only won one set off of Ludmilla. Ludmilla, she finds herself into the third round after taking out Parks in straight sets and Petra Kvitova in straight sets. And, of course, Marta took out Elizabeth in the first round and Anja Bor. Tennis in a minute. Marta's victorious. Anz is eliminated. Sad day for tennis fans.